Hi everyone, my name is Jake, this is Tori. We are both zookeepers here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Since we know most of you are learning from home and can't see the zoo in person, we thought we'd bring the animals right to you. So today Tori is going to be training Kumar, one of our Sumatran tigers. I'm going to be talking about um, why training is important, why we do it, and tell you a little bit of cool facts about these guys. So Tori, go ahead and get started. Like I said, Tori is training Kumar. He's a four-year-old Sumatran tiger. These animals are from Sumatra, like their name suggests, which is a tropical island in Southeast Asia. Um, they are the smallest subspecies of tigers. So right now, Kumar is weighing in at roughly 260 pounds, which is pretty average for these guys. So as you see Kumar being trained, um, we do a lot of our training for general husbandry behaviors. Husbandry just means um, generally taking care of the animals. So training is a great way for us. Training is a great way for us to get a good look over the animal every single day. So right now, um, Tori is going to be asking Kumar to maybe lift his paw or open up his mouth to get a good look at the bottom of his feet. Um, that way we can make sure his paw pads are nice and healthy, especially in the winter time when the air gets dry and cracked, they might get a little bit worn. So we can take a look at them and even apply some ointment or lotion, just like a lot of you might put lotion on your hands to keep them healthy in the winter time as well. So right now she's asking him to do um, a squat behavior, it's kind of like um, to get a good look at his belly, make sure everything is good there. So you can see a couple different tools that Tori is using. One of them is that tennis ball on the stick, that's called a target. So Kumar is trained to touch his nose to that and that's just a great way for us to get him to move around places to places, get him in good position for various behaviors. She also has that pair of big tweezers to give him the meat just to make sure she stays safe as well. Speaking of the meat, the meat is what we call a reinforcer. So it's just a really tasty treat that Kumar likes. Um, kind of encourages encourages him to um, participate in the training session. Um, it's also a great way to reward him for doing something correctly. So every time he does a behavior correctly, you're going to hear Kim blow a whistle. That's called a bridge. That just tells Kumar he did it exactly right and a nice tasty treat is coming his way very soon. We use a variety of different treats, whether it's chunks of meat, um, sometimes we use some diluted blood, um, sometimes we do some fish, a um, whole variety of things just to keep them interested and um, build some variety for them as well. So right now, Tori is working on a voluntary injection. So she does have a blunted needle. It's not sharp. It just simulates the sensation of being poked by a needle. Um, with that, we can do um, blood draws, like I mentioned. We can also administer some fluids if they need to. A whole host of things that um, allow us to kind of get hands on the animal in a very safe way, um, ultimately to avoid using anesthesia. Anesthesia, while it is um, a pretty common thing to use when, when working with animals, it does have its risks and it can be pretty stressful for the animals and zookeepers alike. So a lot of this training is to, designed to mitigate the use of anesthesia so we don't have to put them um, under that situation as little as possible. Training is also a great way for us to build a strong relationship with our animals. Um, it's a really one-on-one -on -one focused interaction that includes lots of treats. So it's a fairly positive thing for them to do. And it also gets their brains thinking and active, um, especially now when maybe there's not a lot of people for them to interact with. But we can do extra training sessions to get their brains moving um, and get them active and get some essentially good looks over the entire animal. So there's a good up behavior. It's a good chance to see all up and down his body from a great angle. Um, Kumar has a whole host of behavior he's, he's learning. Um, from that up behavior, showing his paws, showing his mouth, um, getting into that side position. Um, we're working on different trainings such as um, voluntary ultrasounds of their belly and abdomen, um, blood draws through their tail, a whole host of things to make sure we can keep um, the best care of them as possible. We do train them almost every single day, just like you guys might get um, a little bit overwhelmed with lots of activity, these guys do as well. So we like to give them a break once in a while. Um, but like I said, training is super important, so we try to do it as much as possible. One last up. Now she's gonna give him a big, this is called what we call a jackpot reward. It's kind of a large reward. In this case, it's um, some nice tasty blood, which these guys really love. It's just kind of a good way to end the session on a really big happy note for these guys. All right, well, as we wrap up, I want to remind you, we are doing this um, Keeper Corner every day at three o'clock. And once we are all done with these um, videos, there'll be a special activity you can um, complete at home. 
and if you complete all the activities there might be an ice cream cone in it for you so thanks for joining us today once again i'm jake this is tori um, we'll be back again tomorrow for another keeper corner see you then bye